So if you're doing the canvas paper instead, we're doing the same thing, but instead of the two inch grid, we're going to do a one and one third, which is gonna take some patience and some care, but we can do it. Okay. So you're going to choose an end to start from. I'm going to have this board beneath so that you can see the edges a little bit better. Okay. So one and one third, which is like halfway, let's see, which is one tick mark beyond And then if you want, and you have your own ruler, you can mark that and you can move the ruler or you can um, do the adding and figure out what one and one third is as you add it up down the ruler. This isn't the fastest way, but I think it's going to work for me. Okay, and that lines up well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 sections, that's what I'm going for. Now I'm going to do this again, straight down the middle, which is gonna take a little bit more care to keep it even, but I think I can do it. Again, I started from the same side both times. Okay, and then one more down here. One and one third inch. Okay, now I'm going to start drawing between these. Line it up at this corner line it up at this corner. That should also be right in line in the middle and hold in the middle, draw the line across, move it down, line it up carefully here on this edge, line it up carefully here on this edge, check the middle, straight across, line it up, double check, hold in the middle, straight across and I'm getting these nice even lines, which is what I was going for. Now I'm noticing that mine is sliding a little from one side to the other. I think I'm still good though. Okay, 
So you get the idea. I would continue those lines down. Again, wanting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 sections. Now I'm going to put the tick marks every one and one third inch across and across the middle here and across down at the bottom, always starting from the same side. Gives me one and a third, very good. Come down here, about halfway through, I'll put another set of tick marks. Just like I said at the beginning, taking the time to do this right, even though it's tedious now, is going to make our artwork, our drawing and transferring um, our realistic portrait so much easier, so much less guesswork. So take the time to do it well now and it'll turn out better in the end. Now I'm going to begin drawing between those, lining up this one and this one, and then connecting it here as well. Line it up here, line it up here, hold in the middle, draw between. Same thing. Okay, so what I'm getting is one by one, one and a third inch by one and a third inch boxes. And I should have nine sections this way one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I should have 12 that way. I'm not gonna make you watch me do this, um, but if at any point it's getting really wonky, stop and remeasure. Um, it's not going to make you happier to have to erase more of it later. Stop, check, to the, make sure that it's correct and then move on to, your, to the rest of the grid. Okay, the instructions for uploading, uh, for overlaying a grid over your image itself are on Google Classroom, do that too. See you later.